On today's video, I'm going to bring you my top recommendations to help treat an aging neck. And make sure you stay until the very end because I'm going to share with you my number one, by far biggest change that helped with my aging 55 year old neck. I have had my fair share of trolls telling me that my neck looked much older than the rest of my face. And the fact of the matter is it does. And the reason it does is I have damage and I also have eczema, psoriasis, it's hypersensitive, I'm super allergic and that has shown and taken its toll on my neck. There's not a lot I can do about that but there's loads that I can do about the lines and wrinkles which actually I have one very deep one here and a little bit loose here. I'm going to address that because I know many of you suffer with crepey skin, loose skin, pigmentation, lines and wrinkles, and what looks like transparent skin, your veins start to show. So why does the neck age faster than anywhere else on the upper body? Well, the skin is different. It has fewer sebaceous glands, it doesn't contain the same stem cells, the collagen production is different, and it has less hair follicles, meaning that the skin on the neck has less scaffolding. Therefore, it's prone to collapse. It's prone to aging much, much quicker. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the bulk of your skincare has been focused on your face. The fact of the matter is that unless you had a mentor, maybe somebody like a mum or a grandma that explained to you that you really need to take care of your skin, you probably didn't reach for skin products for your neck when you were younger. So the first thing that we can do is just simply to extend our skincare that we use on our face down to our neck. Now there's one exception to that rule and that is in the case of tretinoin or retinols. If you're using tretinoin you need to be very careful when it comes to the neck because the neck can and probably will react but I'll get to that in a moment. So first up, it's an obvious step, is to actually cleanse the neck. Often we take our makeup off, we remove the day, but we neglect to actually cleanse the neck. Remember the neck can get dirty, it doesn't have the same kind of function as the rest of our body, so do take care of it with thorough cleansing. Micellar water is ideal, it's very gentle, I'll link the one that I use, but this is perfect before you actually start any skincare or neck care. Number two is sun protection. Just like your face, the rest of your body, the backs of your hands, any area that is exposed to the sun, whilst the sun can give us all of those beautiful nutrients, it is aging. So do consider putting sun factor on your neck to protect it. The sun does break down collagen and it can create pigmentation, lines and wrinkles. Therefore, if you want to protect your neck from further damage, think about wearing SPF every time your neck is exposed to the sun. Number three is think about using an antioxidant. Now we hear all of these words and we're not probably really sure what they mean, but an antioxidant serum can actually help with the environmental stresses that we get. Things like environmental toxins, pollutants, they all affect our skin. And you probably already use an antioxidant in your face skincare, so why not extend that to your neck? Now there are some that are specifically made for the neck, but I recommend you find a product that is called an antioxidant that has hyaluronic acid in it and use that on your neck. It will be fantastic and you will notice a difference with your hydration. My next tip is to slather on the cream. Because the neck doesn't have the same sebaceous glands, stem cells and hair follicles, it's prone to getting dry and it may not feel dry, but when I say dry, it's the kind of emollient that the body produces that keeps the skin supple, that encourages the skin back to health and helps the skin appear tighter. So what I would recommend is a neck firming cream and be generous, slather it on. A night cream would be ideal. 
something that is rich, that is firming, that is intended for the delicate tissue around the neck, and something that is anti-aging. Now there are some incredible neck firming creams which I'll list in the description box that I highly recommend. My favourite is the Strivectin Neck Cream, but you can also try SkinCeuticals Triple Neck Repair and it has incredible reviews and it is superb for neck tightening. So let's talk about tretinoin. So I mentioned that you've got to be super careful with the tretinoin that you use on your face and not take it down to your neck. Now, if you've already done that and you've found it fine for you, then that's great. Personally, I did that. I used tretinoin on my face and I used the same one on my neck and it caused a horrendous reaction. And when I say horrendous, I looked like I had the bubonic plague but that's because my neck is probably more sensitive than most. So what I recommend, if you are already using a tretinoin, be careful, use a tiny amount, but buffer it with your regular skincare. Maybe your neck firming cream and massage that in. Make sure that you pay attention not to have little deposits of your tretinoin anywhere. And I would recommend you start just once a week using the tretinoin on your neck and see how you go. It's likely that if you increase that too soon, you go too hard, too fast, too soon, you're going to end up with a rash that you then have to leave out the tretinoin, leave out all that good stuff and allow it to subside. And that can take a good month. Now let's talk about other home things that you can do that you probably hadn't thought about that I love. Now if you've followed me for a little while you'll know that I adore castor oil and castor oil quite frankly has changed my life. It has improved the appearance of my neck but not just my neck but my face, the backs of my hands, pigmentation, sun damage, aches and pains, you name it, it has been phenomenal. I'm going to link my video here that I did that now has over a million views and something like 4,000 positive comments from women that have used castor oil that have found it's changed their lives too. So why not therefore use castor oil on the neck? Castor oil is an antioxidant. It also helps with cellular renewal. It helps protect the skin and it helps bring the skin back to health the way that it used to work when you were very much younger. So in order to use castor oil, you need to know it's very, very thick. Therefore, it can be super sticky and difficult to use. What I use is a neck pad. Now this here has this surface for you to apply the castor oil. I just put a few pumps in there, saturate the pad, and then you literally just pop it on. It has this little band so you can tighten it, but that will just sit, allowing the castor oil to do all of its good work without you getting sticky on perhaps your bed sheets or in your hair. I do have a big bottle here because I use it every single day for my joints, for my belly bloat, menopausal symptoms, and it really helps with reducing the appearance of lines and wrinkles, but also with skin health. The next thing I want to talk about is red light therapy. Red light therapy has been known for many years now. In fact, NASA did a research on red light therapy and actually proved that it does help with cellular renewal. It helps things to grow. And now I'm sure you will have seen red light therapy face masks and neck masks, but getting yourself a red light therapy unit that you can literally just sit, close your eyes for 15 minutes, relax, is a superb way of treating the face and the neck. But if you were just focused on the neck, then I will link some incredible neck masks that have red light therapy to help rejuvenate and turn over the cells and produce collagen. Now let's talk about devices. We all know that we spend too much time on these and what do we generally do? We look down and this is causing lots of stress on the delicate tissue of the neck, causing it to be crumpled and causing these horizontal lines. Now it has to be said that if you're over 50, you haven't had a device for all of your life. Now I read an article that said 
the majority of 25 year olds are getting premature aging on their neck due to the fact that they are always looking down at their devices. What we need to realize is it's never too late to make a positive change. So instead of always looking down, raise your device up, wedge yourself back on a seat and use your device at eye level where possible. This will take the stress off the neck. It's such a simple thing, but it makes a difference. Now, at the beginning of this video, I promised that I would share with you what I think has been the best and given me the most significant change when it comes to the appearance of my neck. And it's simply this. I have trained myself to sleep on my back. And it came about because I had double frozen shoulder, bilateral frozen shoulder, which meant it was impossible for me to sleep on either side. Training myself to sleep on my back has improved the appearance of my neck by miles. Now for a couple of years, I used just two pillows wedged in and I kept myself steady, but I would often wake up with my face all smooshed up and my neck all caught up, which of course left me looking older and more wrinkled and more puffy until I discovered a pillow that actually has been created specifically to stop all of that happening. So this pillow is the Sleep and Glow Omni Pillow. It is perfect for me. It has a lovely cradle because I am a back sleeper. So I can lay my head there and I don't feel like I need to turn over. It is so squidgy, but it also has these little cradles, almost like cutout pieces, so that if you are a side sleeper or I roll on my side through the night, then I'm not going to end up with my face all squished and smooshed and looking older than before I went to bed. The pillow has orthopedic properties and it is said to enhance a deep night's sleep. It also prevents you looking lined, creased and wrinkled and it stops puffiness so that when you wake up, you feel like you've not only had a great night's sleep, but you look rejuvenated. And ultimately, that's how we all want to start waking up. I'll link below should you decide to try one for yourself. They've sold over 200,000. The reviews speak for themselves. They obviously know what they're doing. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, perhaps give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe. I bring videos just like this every single week to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.